Welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, as the title says, I'm going to be showing you how to add motion to your images in Adobe Premiere. Motion in your images is important in your videos because it still keeps that attention of your audience. It's not just, you know, a flat, boring, still thing on a screen. It's entertaining. So this video is going to be kind of a combination of a few tutorials. So if you only have one question, go ahead and look in the description box below and I will have timestamps for you. Excuse me, timestamps for you. So that way you can get the answer to your specific question. All right, so without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to pan horizontally. And all you're going to do is go to effect make sure you have your image selected effect controls and then go here if it looks like this just hit the arrow go to position and hit this little timer so that way it turns blue and that will automatically add one keynote frame here so next what you're going to do is go to this number right beside position out of these two it's the one on the left and you want to find your starting spot and you increase or decrease the number by clicking and dragging and find where you want your your image to begin its pan Oops. and then you're going to hit play until however long you think you want your pan to be and the farther apart that your keynotes are the longer your pan will be so just go ahead and add another I'm sorry I said keynote I meant to say keyframe so just go ahead and add another keyframe and select and then choose your final position for your frame and then you just hit play and there's your pan horizontal pan all right so next i'm going to show you how to do a vertical pan and there's going to be a lot of reiteration between each of these clips and that's just because in case someone is skipping around you know so once again, you're going to select your image, go to Effect Controls. So if you're here, Effect Controls. And then you're going to go to Position, which is under Motion, and toggle Animation by clicking this little timer. That will automatically add one keyframe. And you drag this right number, so where, position set, where it says Position, go to the right, and go to the right one more. So between those two numbers, the right number. And find your starting position. So let's say we want to start it there. Then we press play on our video until however long we think we want our pan to be. Add another keyframe. Select this keyframe and choose our final position for our landscape pan. And there you have it. All right, and finally we are going to do a zoom pan. Now, I don't know if this counts as a pan. I don't think it does, but that's what I'm gonna call it. So this one's a little bit different than previous, than the previous ones, excuse me. And what we're gonna do is select your clip, effect controls, go to scale this time, and hit that timer to toggle your keyframes. It will once again generate a keyframe right there. and select your starting scale so if we want to start really close play for however long we want our quote unquote pan to be i don't think that's what it's called in this case but it's fine add another keyframe select that keyframe and then choose our final scale and our zoom pan will look like that Okay, so that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this or any tutorials that you would like to happen, just go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you could hit that like button. Um, subscribe I'm, for more tutorials, I guess. I don't know. I don't really post like anything specific. It's just kind of what I feel um, I should post. And yes, I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you next week, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Okay, <laughs> bye.